In this video I'm going to show you how my uh, control for Visio stencils can be used for documenting plans. So what I've got here is I've got a floor plan where I've already pulled out uh, some of my stencils and I've marked up a, a basic plan. So if we zoom in into the Sega living room you can see that uh, in this family room, sorry, they've got a Sonos play bar that's on a stand over here, a subwoofer, a control for remote, and they've got some lighting control and some rear in-ceiling speakers. Okay, you can also see down here there is a um, rack. Now these are all just stencils that have come out of my automation callouts stencils. And uh, there is everything from Tesla power stations to cameras to irrigation systems, C bus, heat miser, uh, there's heat pumps, Wi Fi, you name it. Okay, so we'll have a look at a couple more and then uh, we'll move on to something else. Right, so down here you can see it's the garage. Okay, we're controlling the garage door. And there's a read switch for that. Uh, up here you can see that we've got an alarm system. And at the front door you can see that we've got a Yale lock. Now, you might be able to see that under the cursor is actually a URL. If you were to follow that link and control click, what happens is it will take you out onto the internet and it will show you those Yale locks at the Control 4 website. Okay, now this works when you PDF your plans so that your customer can if they're not sure what uh, an actual icon is they can click on it and find out all about it all right so the next thing I want to show you is how I would typically mark up some plans um, so let's just do some uh, control for keypads in some bedrooms we'll keep it very small and simple all right so just going to mark where there is a couple of uh, control for keypads. Okay, so I'll go through just copying and pasting those in. Okay, then I would uh, double click on one of them and it brings up an auto numbering page and I can start with number one uh, at an interval of one and I want the preceding text to be KP for keypad and then I'd click on OK. Alright, and I'll just move this on the other way. And so now when I click on it, you can see at the top there it says KP1, KP2, KP3, KP4. Right. So that means all of these keypads get a unique identifier. Now on the next page, what I would typically do is I will delete that one for a second, but that's what we're going to try and achieve. I would Pull out stencils for each of those keypads. So, like the, there were two beside the bed. So, we'll pull out two of those. They'll be doubles. There was one beside the door. And then there was one in a bedroom by itself. I'm just going to align these. Okay, so then what I would do is I would number these to have the same numbering. Okay, then what I'd want to do is I want to be able to state what each button is actually doing on this uh, on this plan. So that's where I'd go to data and I'd put a data graphic on there. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll zoom in and show you what the data graphics look like. Okay, so basically this text is appearing from this data window over here. Okay, so I can type in here that the button number one is the uh, main light in the room and button number two is the reading light. Okay, then I come to the next switch 
and that can be the same. I should have probably put reading light, but I've got it wrong. Uh, then we'll say main light. The left reading light and the uh, right reading light. And in this other room, that could just be the main uh, main light. Okay, so you can see that uh, it's very quick and easy to document um, your lighting designs using my Control for Visio stencils. Um, once you have these completed, you can send them through to your customer. They can say yes, I'm happy with that, or no, KP2 needs to have a, an extra button and it needs to be for the music system. Alright, I hope you enjoyed it.